25 minute game. Let's see if this is his secret ninja. Nope, 17, 16, 14, 72. So an average around about that area. But doesn't mean anything in terms of I'm only looking really for the ninja types. You know, the 2700s, the 2100s, then masquerading as low level grades in the classical side. So we'll just uh, push through here. Still trying to consolidate the creative and logical work. It's a big part of my latest development. Because it's okay talking about the creative stuff you can do. Um, nothing's stopping me from doing that. It's the aspect of then how do we logicalize what we've seen and what we've created, what we're worried about, what we're concerned about, how have we rationalized it. So taking here um, gives them a nice position, maybe the knight takes, we can take back, bishop, oops, then the bishop takes, bishop's in the centre of the board, holding court, it's one of those positions where you don't really have to do anything, I'm just going to bring the knight out, bishop out, sorry. Placing the bishop in front of the pawn is a big no-no, but they find a way of working it through. So I'm going to leave it there until they have to develop and potentially lose tempo because they have to move it because they're blocking their centre pawn. If I can, I might be tempted to take at some point. If he develops his knight, bring the knight. So if puts and maybe so that's where the creative brain goes into overload so you've got to rein it back in because if he does do that night move there's nothing saying that this night move was the right move because I haven't done a calculation on that all I've done is done a creative sort of flow in my head and that's what happens in games especially in the faster games the creative brain just goes whoa well, yeah just do this do that do the other so then you instantly just make the moves but you haven't actually done any calculation on those moves you've gone for what looks like fancy okay so he's pushed down so he's uh, going for a, a soft move really probably got to stop calling these soft moves because they lead towards something either a pawn pushing here or it's an outpost for a piece you know something along them lines it's preventing the bishop attacking here but I wasn't going there anyway I'm still tempted to take because that is our style, that is our system to, to open up the centre. But I feel there's going to be a concern with them having to move their bishop to get this centre pawn. So they're going to have to bring their bishop, hopefully losing a bit of tempo. So I'm actually going to castle, because at the minute the poor white square bishop really wants to be out in the game. So I think his bishop's going to have to move either to there or to here. But it fingers crossed it loses tempo because we put a little bit of pressure on it okay so the knight's out so we did say in our creative bringing the knight across here is that going to be to our benefit there's nothing behind the knight if the bishop comes and attacks which he probably will do so it might actually be better bringing the knight here because then we can push the pawn onto the bishop because he's going to want an out He's going to want an out. He's going to want to attack something so that he can release this pawn. So I'm actually going to bring it on the inside. So he's attacking now. So we could take this knight off the board, may as well. I'm not even going to discuss that. Just get that one out of the way. So this pawn will take, yeah. So that is giving his bishop a good reason to stay there now because it's not no longer blocking this pawn but we're going to take this pawn and then the knight is going to come here attacking the bishop queens attacking the queen so we're trying to build on the tempo created by the opponent 
actually being forced, forcing themselves to release themselves from their blocked pawn. I'm not saying it's going to work, but that's the idea behind what I'm doing now. He's not gone for it because he's understood that that's the type of thing that we're going for. We're going for that flow. But this pawn has got a fork, you see, on two pieces. So we could take any one of them. I'm going to take the bishop. He's going to line up his pawns, unless, of course, he takes with his queen. So he does take with the queen. Pawn can push up to get another fork. I'm not sure how strong that fork is though. I'm going to push anyway to get the fork because the bishop's going to take, we can replicate, but then the queen takes. Yeah, yeah, so I think the knight escapes. But we're not to be greedy because I think we are a minor piece up out of all that at the minute. So the queen has moved back so yet again we can take with the smaller piece so we'll take the knight with the pawn this king's exposed so potentially should really be castling but it's going to lose tempo i think because we're going to put a check on the king here so the king's kind of forced to move and then we're going to win the queen because oh we're not going to win the queen they knew that because if they'd have moved there we were going to win the queen because we had a check on it. Okay, so we've got a bit of fanciness going on. So we could attack the queen. Queen comes down, the rook is defending. Okay, how do we work this? Attack the queen, maybe release the bishop somehow as well. Got space to come here with the knight as well, putting pressure on the bishop. So the queen has moved. We have to look to see where it's moved to. It's moved opposite the king here, but if we keep the knight here, then his bishop obviously is going to come here, but we're not planning to do that. We want to move the knight here, putting pressure onto the bishop, still having the pin through to the king, so the bishop can't move. Okay, so the castle knight can take is there anything better? Well, I'll just take. Got the knight that. Oops, sorry. Got the knight that can come here. Attacking the queen again. It's got this rook here on this file. I'm going to attack the queen just to try and keep busy. If it moves to here, then we get a fork. But I don't know if it's a good fork because his queen can come down and get a check on the king. So we have to be mindful of that really. So we might have to bring the bishop here first. Yeah. But then if we do that, his queen takes. So we can come here. Queen could go there. Queen takes, knight takes. Double the pawns up a little bit in front. But that means more word, doesn't it? We've only got a bishop ahead then. As queen comes down with a check, king moves. He's gonna have to move his rook, so he moves his rook down to attack the knight. Yeah, maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just bring the knight here and attack. 
Let's do that. Bring the knight here, attack and defend. Keep it simple. bishop type thing here if I'm looking at fancy creative maneuvers just for the shock factor of some sort not not while the Queen's here see if the Queen disappears somewhere so it's not going too far still wants to keep this Queen is defending the Knight at the moment has he landed on anything Rook can come here to attack the queen. What's he really looking for? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, Rook can attack the queen. So when he goes back, now I am looking at this quite seriously. Rather, the knight because the knight's got the check on the king so the pawn takes then the bishop takes the bishop's on the rook but even before all of that let's do that again in fact i'm physically going to do it i think that there's um, a squinching thing going on there he doesn't have to take but he's got a check on his queen maybe just moves his queen rook doesn't have any protection so does he could move his queen to here attacking the knight at the same time oh no it's a check on the king sorry yeah so he has to take he's forced to take or move his king so he doesn't have to take he can move his king so then the bishop was coming here attacking the rook So that's when the, uh, the queen can come here, attacking there, but then the, our queen can come here, putting a check on the king. King moves across type thing. I think there's something there. King moves across. So none of them will be there, the only thing is the bishop. So the rook can move across. And then the bishop's got a, dis we've got a discover check thing going on. Right, let's go for it. Let's see how it looks after all of that. Like I say, he doesn't have to take. Oh, he does take. So let's follow the pattern. Attacking the rook. Queen comes down, attacking both pieces. Our queen comes in here. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. I forgot all about that. I don't think that's major though, is it? We can still follow the plan. Of the queen here and the rook coming here, can't we? And we're still on the rook anyway. So he's going to move the rook so we can then put the check on the king. Yes, I think that's the one. Oh no, hold on. No, it's okay. I thought he could just drop and then queen takes, rook takes, but I've got my rook in the corner here. Whew. Creative pants going into overload. No, I think that's those are the moves. Unless he moves his king already. But then we take his rook. He replicates with his rook and he's still pressuring this area a bit. But we have flexibility with the queen because we can put checks here. If he does then take the bishop, I don't think I'll allow him to take the bishop, we'll have to move somehow. It's probably not as straightforward as I'm thinking now, I'm, I'm, I think I've seen loopholes in it. <laughs> oh dear, well it got us to this stage, this part, for, yeah he's come down for the bishop. Mm. So. The rook can come here for the discover check type thing and then we can maybe squeeze the queen up and it's probably going to block with that. 
situation yeah okay let's try that so it's sort of like going in reverse now this was where the rook should have ended then the bishop could go anywhere do you know what I could have just taken the rook off the board what am I doing <laughs> oh God. totally messed it up oh man the whole idea about the bishop going there was taking the rook off the board Oh, I got scared, didn't I? Oh, my life. Getting creative. That's too creative. Missing the golden opportunities. So, where's his rook going now? Goes and attacks the bishop or something like that. Got to be mindful, though. If the queen moves up, I've got to make sure it's a definite check, which is one. But then he's waiting to get this back background. Back rank checkmate. What's he doing? He's coming for the rook. He's coming for the rook, but this is the position that we were looking for. It's just that he can now bounce across the tracks. Uh, whereas before he wouldn't he would have been jammed in the corner over here. So at least we get to take the rook off the board anyway with the bishop. And if my king was a bit closer and I could get that there as well, but that's not happening. So it's all back to front, basically. <laughs> okay. Um, so we can go here with a check and more. It's nearly a checkmate. Oof, I thought it was. Take the rook. Rook takes... Oh, we could get his queen off the board first. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. Take the rook first. We don't do that. Get this rook up here with a check of some sort. He's he's gonna hide behind his rook. Yeah, once his rook takes, he's gonna hide behind his rook here we need to get the queen there and then he's going to shift over he's going to escape isn't he you hate it when they can escape mm. oh wait a minute though wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute if he hides there then the queen can come across put a check on the king there right ah, ok so he hides in the back Queen comes here, and it's almost almost a checkmate. I think it's gotta be. This is working too hard. And we do have this rook that can come here as well. Not thinking get in the way. Let's go here, and we could finalise it by just going there or bring the rook here. I think that's it, job done. Am I going safe with the queen? Yeah. Woo! Wow, creative, logical thinking. Although creative really nearly got me in trouble there, but there was something there in the end. Um, we just needed to maintain the checks on the king as best possible. Yes, very interesting game.